Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. As you might have already guessed from the title of this video, this is going to be Zara try on haul. And I'm super excited for this video because this is my first Zara purchase ever. Can you guys believe? I've never bought anything from Zara during my entire lifetime. Because I always thought that Zara is too expensive for me, but this time I decided to pamper myself and give myself a few pieces. So without any further Further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the basic blouse and button up shirts. Very classic, perfect for everyday wear, and easy to put together. If you have watched my previous videos, you know how much I love a versatile piece that can go with multiple items in my wardrobe. The first item that caught my eye was this simple beige shirt. The only thing that attracted me to buy this were the gold buttons. But that's not the best part. The best part is the texture and the feel of the fabric. It's so soft to touch and so comfortable, I feel as if I'm not wearing anything. It's so breezy and perfect for summers. Now obviously I can layer this up as much as I want for colder weather with either a blazer or a sweater vest. You can either tuck in the shirt or leave it as it is. The way I would style this is with the jeans and red heels for some color pop. I love the fit and quality is worth the price, so I'm definitely keeping this one. The next piece is a textured combination top. You can find the link to all the items in the description box down below. So this piece is very unique. For some reason, it gives me a vibe of vintage dolls from the 90s and with bib-like situation going on around the neck, it's very cute. The knots on the side are a little tricky though, but I have definitely not seen this design on any other website and the material is not cheap at all. I don't want to overstyle this because it can lose its charm if you overlayer it, but this blouse will be perfect for spring or fall or when it's very confusing weather outside and you are stuck with thinking whether you should wear a sweater or a loose shirt. So with this one, you get two in one. But is it worth $60? I don't know. It has its limitation on how you style it. So maybe I'll return this one. The third item that I bought was this lace dotted mesh blouse. This is a sheer top so you will definitely need to wear something skin colored underneath if you choose to wear this to the office. And my favorite part about this is the lace detailing. It goes all the way down from the neck and is also on the sleeves. It gives the top a texture and dimension, otherwise I think simple sheer black tops can be very dull. This one has an edge to it. Again, a very versatile piece that you can style for a casual night out with friends or even a date night. I'd go with just a bra underneath to give it a sexy look making it less formal and pair it up with black boots or red heels again and I am definitely keeping this one. The next item that I bought was a belted jumpsuit. I desperately needed a jumpsuit for my wardrobe and was really hoping that this would look good. But something is not right with this one. The sleeves are a little off, the length does not sit right. I think this will need more than one alteration, which I'm not willing to spend my money on. This was already $80. I think I will just return this, but the belt detail is very good. This could have been a very good monochromatic look, but it is what it is. I tried styling this with my red heels, my favorite watch, and a sleek ponytail. It still isn't working. Let's just throw it in the return pile and keep looking for a good jumpsuit. The next item on the list is this dress. This is a ruffled print dress, very elegant, v-neck, obviously elongating my body. Now if you have not watched my previous video on how to look taller, then you can click the link in the description box down below after this video. Trust me, there are some very useful tips. Now talking about the dress, I think the gold detail and its length makes it perfect to wear out on a date. I also bought this crossbody bag which was on sale for just $15. Love the buckle and the quilted look and I think this goes really well with the dress. Can I just take a moment to adore myself? This is perfect for summers. There are not many print dresses in my wardrobe so this will definitely be a breath of fresh air. Now I 
I wanted something boho in my wardrobe for so long and this embroidered cotton blouse sealed the deal for me. I didn't have anything brick colored in my closet and this blouse gave me an Indian kurta kind of vibe. Now I cannot really wear Indian wear at my workplace so I thought I can at least add some vibrance to my dull outfits with this embroidered blouse. This is the real deal. But for a casual outing, I would style these with white jeans, big multicolored boho earrings and thrifted shoes. Now if you have been on my channel long enough, then you might remember these are the ones that I bought from Value Village. Now the thread work is amazing and they are not coming out or falling apart like the ones I have seen from Shein. This is definitely a keep. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!